what to do when you are having nightmares or bad dreams about something that you are trying to manifest. Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your manifestation coach. And in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what to do if you are having nightmares or bad dreams um, about what it is that you are trying to manifest. But first, if you are somebody who would like some inspiration, some accountability, if you would really like to stay on top of your game and stay consistent when it comes to manifesting anything that your heart desires, I offer a monthly membership coaching. This is where you can get weekly live coaching with me, plus have your questions answered by me in real time. You can get access to this by clicking the link below in the description box. I also offer an online course, Manifest Your SP Mastery, that you can get instant access to by also clicking the link below in the description box. And finally, I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you manifest anything you desire. You can also get access to this by clicking the link below in the description box. Okay, let's get back to this video. What to do if you are having nightmares or bad dreams um, about your manifestation. So this video is really in response to a question that I got in the comment section, which I think was great, where somebody, you know, uh, was saying that they are manifesting their specific person. They've been doing the work. They've been they've started to think as if they're the version of them that has their manifestation, like through affirmations, through repetitions, but they've been having like bad dreams and nightmares where their specific person doesn't want to be with them. Their specific person has left them. Like what to do and what, do, what does that mean? So here's the thing. <laughs> okay. I want you to remember that the law of assumption trumps everything, meaning whatever you assume to be true will become your truth. Okay, because whatever's happening in your reality is actually neutral, but the meaning that you give to it through your assumption about it puts you in a different parallel reality or in a different timeline. So if you give the meaning that to your bad dream that, oh, this means that I'm not getting my manifestation because you give it that meaning, you assign that meaning to it, you will be in that timeline. Equally, if you give it the meaning, some another meaning such as, oh, this is just my old thoughts being released, but I'm still getting what I want then you will be in that timeline, okay? So what's the meaning that you're giving to it? Because that's what you're assuming. And that's why you wanna be so conscious of what are you assuming? What are you assuming? Now, what I will say on my own personal journey is that, you know, so I have also had like bad dreams or nightmares when I've been trying to manifest something, especially at the beginning, right? Because at the beginning, I have like a shitty assumption um, about something that I'm trying to call in. And so I begin to affirm and um, I'm affirming, I'm saturating my subconscious mind with the new story, but then I, you know, first couple of nights, I'm having like bad dreams. That has happened to me. And the way that I have responded to it is I give it a positive meaning. I'm like, oh, this is just me uh, releasing stuff that no longer belongs to the new version of me. I'm still getting what I want, right? This is part of the bridge of events. Everything's rigged in my favor. Things like that, you have to give it that meaning. And you have to cut off the old thought, the old thought that, you know, or this isn't working, it means I'm not getting what I want. Because if you persist in that, because that's still you persisting, but it's you persisting unfavorably, right? If you persist in, this means I'm not going to get what I want. I'm doomed. I'm having nightmares. I'm having dreams. And my dreams mean that I'm not going to get my manifestation. You've just created an assumption that says, I'm not going to get my manifestation because I had bad dreams. So now uh, you're going to be in a timeline that where that becomes your reality. Now, I'm not talking about where you like say it once. I'm talking about if you keep persisting in that story and you don't do anything to change it, it will manifest, right? I'm not talking about like you have some thoughts about it, but then you ignore, like you have some thoughts of, oh my gosh, I had a bad dream. I'm not going to get my manifestation. But then actually you self-correct that thought and you say, actually, no, that's not the meaning I'm going to give it. Actually, this dream means I'm just letting go of some old shit that no longer belongs to the new version of me. Like if you're doing that, you're fine. Okay, it's if you keep persisting with the, oh my God, oh my God, like this means I'm not gonna get my manifestation, you start freaking out, you don't do anything to like come out of that and you keep persisting in that, you're gonna manifest that. Because remember, let's go back to the basics of how manifestation works, okay? It's your thoughts create your reality. So what you're giving your attention to, the dominant thoughts that you are thinking, your subconscious mind always has to produce proof of that to you in your 3D reality. Now I do understand that when you're having a bad dream or you're having nightmares, that doesn't feel good. And I get that, right? So there's the human side that feels triggered about that or feels upset about that, or you're waking up not even feeling good. I get that. But then it's up to you to do something about it, right? It's your choice to shift out of that state. Say when you wake up and you're not feeling good, it's up to you to sit down and to begin to loop your affirmations, put a timer on, do some focused affirming, shift yourself out of that state. 
do not entertain that state of you not feeling good. Now, if you're feeling obviously highly triggered, then do some breath work if you need to, um, and then go into your loops, okay? Or if you need to have a cry, have a cry first. Let it all out. Don't suppress emotions, but keep your thoughts in check. After you do that, you go back to thinking as if you're the version of you that has your SP. You stay on top of your affirmations. What most people will do is they'll have a bad dream or a nightmare. They'll wake up feeling shit. They don't do anything to shift themselves out of it. They continue to entertain that dream, to think about it, to mull over it, to mull over their situation. They go into the old story, they spiral, and they just stay in that state, and they don't do anything to shift out of it. That's not you doing the work. Okay. It's okay that you're triggered. It's okay that you're having negative thoughts. My question is when you catch it, when you notice it, what are you doing about it? Are you doing something to shift yourself out of that negative state? Are you doing something to come back to the wish fulfilled, to think as if you're the version of you that has your SP? That's the work, right? You want to come back to your affirmations. Me and my SP in a happy, loving, committed relationship. I'm always prioritized. I'm always chosen. You want to come back to those affirmations, that's the work, right? The work is when I'm triggered, am I coming back to the end? The work is when I catch myself thinking an opposing thought, am I coming back to the end? The work is how much time am I spending during the day saturating my subconscious mind with a new story that implies I'm the version of me that gets what I want? Another thing that I will say is you should always use umbrella affirmations uh, because the mind will try to play tricks on you and why you can't get your manifestation. It will always come up with excuses, right? Like, oh, you had a bad dream. Um, oh, you're, you're so triggered. Oh, you're thinking negative thoughts. You're never going to get it. If you have an umbrella affirmation such as everything's always rigged in my favor, I always get what I want, everything's always working out for me, just to literally pad and interrupt those thoughts and like cut it off and that will help you, okay? The idea is you want to give everything a good meaning, right? No matter what's going on, you're still getting what you want. Even that could be an affirmation, okay? No matter what, I always get what I want. No matter what, I'm getting what I want, right? That's a really good meaning <laughs> to give to like a bad dream. You could go as general as that, okay? So my message is that if you had some bad dreams or some nightmares, it doesn't matter. The only thing that ma that can't stop you from manifesting what you want unless you begin to mull in that story and give it that assumption and attach that meaning to it that that means that you're not going to get what you want and you persist in that and you don't do anything to change it. That's the truth, right? Because your assumptions create everything. But if you self-correct those thoughts and say, well, I'm still getting what I want, you give it a meaning that feels good to you. Oh, this is just me releasing old stuff. Um, but I'm still getting what I want. You're good. And that's all you have to do. Just change your thoughts, stay on track, get back on the horse, come back to your affirmations. Think as if it is that simple. Okay. Your job, you only have one job and this is it. Think as if you're the version of you that has your specific person through affirmations, saturate your mind with these affirmations, right? Keep coming back to this end state through your affirmations over and over and over again through repetition, no matter what your 3D reality is showing you, no matter what type of dreams you're having, no matter what is going on out there. The only thing that matters is what is going on in here? What are you feeding your subconscious mind with in here? Persist, persist, persist until your manifestation hardens into fact, until it shows up in your 3D reality. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. Mwah.